Hey there, sun's out, beer's out. Think that's the rule. Today, I have a double whammy. Boom, boom. So today I'm doing two Beaver Town beers. They are based in De Beauvoir Town, which I believe is where they got their name. Because De Beauvoir sounds like Beaver Town. De Beauvoir Town, De Beauvoir, De Beauvoir, De Beauvoir Beaver Town. Now they're based up in um, Tottenham, or they may have moved again. They're on the move quite a lot, but I'm a big fan of their bloody elf. It's gorgeous. But these two beers are in cans, which is ideal for sunshine and summer times. I have Beaver Town's 8 Ball Rye IPA and Neck Oil Session IPA. So let's start with one, shall we? I'm going to kick off with the neck oil because this is one that I've been really excited for. So here goes. It's really hoppy. It's very tropical. It's really bitter. That's good. So it's a tiny bit thin, but given that it's a session IPA, I think that's sort of quite forgivable because you do want it to be relatively easy to drink. Otherwise, it's not really that sessionable. It's lovely and bitter, and it's very refreshing. It's got lovely fruitiness to it. It's got some sort of like peachiness, peachy, peachy, grapefruity. You could just, I don't know why I put it into a glass. I just want to drink it from the can. I realize that that's just basically sacrilege if you're into craft beer. Oh, pour it into the glass, smell it, look at the color, and then taste it. Let's be honest, this is a session IPA. This is going to kick ass for going and sitting in a park and drinking cans of beer. Swell. Swell neck oil. It's really, really good. Get some cans, hit the park, and enjoy this beer with me. And the second beer we have lined up today is 8 Ball Rye IPA, again from Beaver Town. Okay, here we go. So, on first look, this is actually, I feel like this looks more like a red ale. It smells very nice. You, can, you get a lot of rye. If you don't like rye, you probably want to steer clear of this beer. It's pretty resinous, but it's sort of like a sweet resinous. It's fruity too. Orangey. Maybe something a bit sharper too. Oh yeah. It is quite a lot like a red ale. I guess because it's rye, then it's just a rye IPA. Hey, what's the Geordie's favourite beer style? Rye IPA, man! Hmm, it's got a little bit of bitterness. It's not that bitter. And it's very malty and rye -y. Sexy, earthy, like rye flavours and aromas just getting all up in your grills. <laughs> So if you're really into something quite light and tropical fruity and quite bitter, I would suggest you grab a few of these for the weekend. If you like red ales, if you like rye, then you will really like this. And I highly recommend that you pick them up. They're, they're available now. They're going to be canning Gamma Ray as well, which is one of their best beers, in my humble opinion. So as soon as that's out, I'll try and get a can and do a review of that one as well. But ultimately... These are going to really set me up for the weekend. Yeah. Cheers, Beaver Town! <laughs>